please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So, I want to talk a little bit about the New York Islanders. Because even though they lost last night, even though because their season has come to an end... There is so much for Islanders fans to be proud of with this team and so happy about with this team and the run that they were able to put together this year. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, I never expected the Islanders to make it that far. Um, this, this Islanders team, um, you know, they really struggled at the end of the regular season. They went... You know, after the trade deadline, they lost seven straight games. I didn't even think they were going to make the playoffs had things continued regularly. And we didn't get the the break and, and then, the, you know, the 2014 format and all that. If this season had continued normally, I honestly thought that the Islanders were going to drop out of playoff position. And I thought Columbus and the Rangers and teams like that were going to pass them. And um, this was a team that, that I really never expected to go this far. And this is a team that worked really, really hard, that r played a style of game that fit them, that they don't really have a lot, they don't have a lot of star power, they don't have superstars in their lineup, they're just, they're a team. The New York Islanders are a team, it's not about any one player, it's not about any one line, it's a whole group coming together from top to bottom, first line to fourth line, first D pair to third D pair, all coming together, working hard, fighting for the same thing, and that is to win each and every hockey game that they play in. And there's so much to like about this Islanders team. Um, I'm a huge. I've become a huge fan of theirs. I really, really like this this core group, and they were really close. I mean, at the end of the day, I think when you look at the rosters, if you put the Islanders lineup over here and the Lightning lineup over here, the Tampa Bay Lightning are a better hockey team. The Islanders don't have a Victor Hedman. The Islanders don't even really have a Ryan McDonough. They don't have a Nikita Kucherov. They don't have a Braden Point. The Islanders don't match up with the Tampa Bay Lightning when it comes to you know superstar level players and just pure talent. But where the Islanders match up and probably beat almost every single team in the league is with hard work and effort. And... They play this tight defensive system that I know a lot of people don't like and find boring, but if they're going, the object is to win hockey games, and if the New York Islanders are going to win hockey games without having that superstar power in high-flying offense, you have to play a tight defensive system, and they play it so well, and they, they are, play such a structured game, and from top to bottom, that whole lineup get chips in as much as they can and does everything they can for that team. Barry Trotz, I'll tell you right now, is the best coach in the NHL. The best head coach in the NHL right now is Barry Trotz. Um, and I've, been, I've said that many times on this channel. I've been saying that for two years now. Since Trotz, even, you know, even back when Trotz was in Washington, Trotz last year in Washington through now, he has been the best coach in the NHL. At, during that three-year stretch, he's been the best coach in the NHL, in my opinion. Um, I could not be a bigger Barry Trotz fan. I think he, he's just an absolutely incredible motivator. He's an incredible um, tactician as far as playing a structured game and getting, you know, getting you know, teams to play how he wants them to. And he's, just, uh, he's an incredible coach. He's one of my absolute favorites that I've ever seen in the NHL. Um, and, you know, they obviously in, in these playoffs, the, the Islanders really brought it night in and night out and sure they had some tough games here and there a lot of their losses though were very close a lot of them were in overtime a lot of them were just very close games um that that they did end up losing and and they were able to you know come in they they easily blew through florida in the qualifying round then they destroyed the capitals absolutely destroyed the capitals in that first round series they had a very good series in the second round against the philadelphia flyers and were able to knock them off and then they come in and they end up losing in the conference finals to tampa bay but islanders fans that is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of obviously it hurts that they lost it stings that they lost um and you, you wanted to see them in the cup finals. But 
when you take a step back and just look at this season and these playoffs for New York, you've got to be happy with how far the Islanders made it and how good they were. And you've got to be really, really proud of this team because I'm not even an Islanders fan, and I am extremely proud of what I've seen from that team. I mean, this was a team that I had out in the first round when I made my predictions. I had them beating Florida in the qualifying round and then losing in the first round to Washington. And I thought that was it. They faced the Capitals. Their season is done. And they blew through Washington to the surprise of many people. Then they beat Philadelphia, who were a lot of people's Stanley Cup pick this year. The Flyers were one of the hottest picks in the league heading into the playoffs as far as Stanley Cup goes. And they beat the Flyers, and they just came up a little bit short in a very hard-fought six-game series against Tampa Bay, who I think personally is the best team in the league. So there's, there's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of if you're the New York Islanders. They had a hell of a season this year. They had a hell of a postseason. They were much better than I expected them to be in the playoffs. And, you know, they just they, they played great hockey. And they got incredibly good goaltending from Semyon Varlamov. Um, they, they played tight defensively. They scored more than I expected them to in the postseason. Offense was an issue all year long for, for New York. They were one of those great defensive but lacking on the offensive side type teams. But in the playoffs, they scored a lot of goals. They scored a good amount of goals in the postseason. Their offense sh came to play, showed up, and and they they just ended up coming up a little bit short. But Man, there's, I mean, you've got to be happy with this team, and you gotta, you got to be happy for the future, and, and you, they've shown that this team, what this team is capable of, and that they are a legitimate Stanley Cup threat, and you, you know, the offense coming from all four lines, I was really, really impressed with. From top to bottom of that lineup, their fourth line before Sezikis got hurt was absolutely phenomenal. Sezikis, Clutterbuck, and Martin was once again the best fourth line in the league, um, what well, before Sezikis got hurt, and that obviously, um, really, really was a problem once he went down in this conference final series. Um, losing Pellick for the last game was an issue as well. But every team's dealing with injuries. Tampa is as well. So certainly not an excuse or, or why they lost. Every team, as you go through the playoffs, deals with injuries. But those are big losses for the Islanders, and um, you know they obviously felt those. But in the, at the end of the day, I don't want this to go on too long. I just wanted to really um, talk about the Isles and, and how great of a season they had. Even though they didn't win the Stanley Cup this year, they, they came up a little bit short. But for them to even make the conference final, I think, was a huge win for New York. And they did a lot better than most people expected them to. Certainly me, and I think a lot of other people, we did not have them going this far into the playoffs. So even though it sucks that they lost, even though it hurts a little bit, even though it stings that they're out now and not going to the cup finals, um, there's a lot to like about this New York team, and there's a lot to be proud of if you're a New York Islanders fan because they had a fantastic, fantastic season. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, our donation link, Patreon, and merchandise store in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.